The following portion of Daytime Tri-Cities is sponsored by HMG. Well, this summer, kids all over our area are cooling off in lakes and pools, and as they do, we know water safety is an important priority. Drowning remains the number one cause of death for children ages one to four. It's the second leading cause of accidental death for those five to 14 years old. In today's Health Matters, we learn more about protecting our kids and the community resources that we have available that can help. This toddler is learning a skill that could save his life. He's part of the Little Floaters program at the YMCA of Bristol, a program that began after a local tragedy in June of 2018. Levi Hughes drowned at the age of three while on a family vacation. Swim time was over, but Levi found his way back to the pool. HMG pediatrician Dr. Jessica Hummel knew the family. I think the biggest takeaways from Levi's story were that if you're just watching your child when they're in the pool, that is not enough. Um, over 70% of drownings occur when the children are not supposed to be swimming. So the um, ideal thing is layers of protection. Those layers include fences around pools, deadbolts on doors, and alarms. Also, designated water guardians who focus solely on the children when around water. And most importantly, teaching young children how to self-rescue. Levi's legacy sparked change, including here at his home YMCA in Bristol. And over the last year, more than 200 children have gone through the program. We work on floating on their back first, and then we work on them being able to control their breathing, and then we work on getting on their back. So the, the main thing is, if they do fall in, that they'll have those three skills that will, that will possibly save their life. The program also teaches them a natural respect for the water. I ask four or five-year-olds, can you swim? And they all tell me yes. And then their parents say, well, with your floaties, and they don't get the distinction. So putting a floaty or a life jacket on at a pool teaches them, I can go away from my parent, I can jump in the deep end because I can swim, but they can't. Little Floaters goes from one to four years old. It's twice a week for four weeks, with lessons anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. When you teach these lessons, when you get to a certain point, and they actually go in like if they do a Humpty Dumpty, which is off the wall, so they have to put all three of those skills together and they get it, you know in your heart that you've, you've made some kind of difference. Levi's family works tirelessly to promote water safety. They launched Levi's Legacy and they continue to raise awareness, stressing the importance of self-rescue and swim lessons. For more information on the Little Floaters program and others like it in our area, please visit the Health Matters blog. You can find that at HolstonMedicalGroup.com. That's HolstonMedicalGroup.com. We're back with more of Daytime right after this. The preceding portion of Daytime Tri-Cities was sponsored by HMG.